Hypothetically speaking, you go to a restaurant, the food is incredible, but they're very crass, they're very rude. Versus, you go to a restaurant, they're super nice, kindest waiters, waitresses you've ever met. The food is giga bland. Where do you go? Frankly, I'm type A. Then call me a blockhead nincompoop, but if that Cuban sandwich is fire, I'll be there on the weekly. I'll win them over eventually. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to P3 Reload. This time, we try to level as many social links as possible before the class trip. The class trip is so soon. Oh, my God. November's just flying by. I don't even know how to process it. But, yeah. Oh, right. I'm supposed to be bummed out. Need Drew's back. Like anyone would expect. I'm sure there's nothing we can say to actually make her feel better. All we can do is let time heal her wounds. Yeah, that's all we can do at this point. It stinks, but... There's only... <laughs> words can only do so much, you know? Excuse me. Mitsuru-san appears to be extremely fatigued. It be... Believe it be wise to leave her be for now. Very true. And where is Ken? I did, Well, I already kind of know. I already opened up the email, sorry. Hello, Yuki-san. I can ask you a favor. Are you available tonight? I'll be waiting in front of the door. I know it's a difficult period, so thank you for your time. Mm, outside the door. Okay. What are you doing out there? Just <laughs> loitering? Oh, Yuki-san. I know you must be busy, but do you have time to come with me tonight? Mm, okay. Thank you very much. What are we going to do? I wasn't sure if I'd be able to go there alone. Oh. I'd like to head over to Port Island Station. Now, if that's okay with you. So then, uh, I don't know about this. <laughs> I want to go to a bar called K Sara Sara. It's down this way. Hey, it's old. Dude, it's a Tuesday night. At least wait till the weekend. I was thinking of getting Mitsuru san a gift. Wait, what? And uh, I heard I might be able to buy what I'm looking for at the bar. They sell stuff at bars other than alcohol? Wait, are you buying alcohol? Hey, what's up with them? Who knows? What's a kid doing here? Maybe it's too dangerous, but supposedly it's only open at night. Hmm. All right, we'll just hurry. Come on, make it snappy. Oh, okay. Hmm. Huh. Is it a bit further down? <sighs> now there's little kids running around. Oh, it's become so wholesome here. Hey, it's past your bedtime, little boy. Mommy's waiting for you. <laughs> Good one. Just, I'll shut them up. Jesus, Makoto. Let's just, let's keep walking. Thank you, but I'm all right. If I let it bother me, then it'll never go away. I just want to finish what I came here for. It's braver than me, bro. I still want to go out. Oh, we actually get to like, know what's in here. No way. This looks like the place. The owner here is really particular about the taste of his drinks. They say he has ingredients you can't normally find. Hmm. What does that mean? You don't think. Shadows. <laughs> and for one of the cocktails he makes, he uses an extremely rare tea leaf. Wait, that sounds like a giant waste of money. Like... Is that just his sales pitch? Is that what you're looking for? A rare leaf? Okay. Yes. I've seen Mitsuru-san drinking tea in the lounge. Oh, oh my god, and connect the two. Ken! That's a good gift. So when I was thinking of a gift that would make her happy, this is what came to mind. I'll tell you what, Ken, you're, you're sharper than a, a bag of bricks. Which isn't... I oh. hope the bar owner is willing to share some of it, though. Hmm... It's worth a shot. I mean, you know, I, I, we can just buy it. Oh, I guess we don't have a license to drink. Well, he looked scary, but at least he agreed to sell it to us in the end. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad that worked out. I can't wait to give this to Mitsuru-san. With everything that happened, I'm sure she's been having a hard time. Hey, no offense, Ken. Can we walk and talk? I would not want to be here. It's sad and painful to be in a home... Knowing that you'll never see a loved one there with you again. 
So, I'm hoping this makes things more pleasant for her. At least while she's at the dorm. Yeah, that's a way of doing what you can. Although, it is Mitsuru-san we're talking about. So, I'm sure she'll be fine. I just thought it would be nice if she was able to think about things over a delicious cup of tea. But is it like one leaf? Like how much? I don't know. I'm sure she'll like it. It's 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 a gift that goes beyond words, you know? Whoa, the fist bump. Thanks. I feel a lot better hearing you say that. I thought about it a lot. And this is the best I could come up with. Well, we should head back before it gets too late. And cues. What the? What is that? No, actually, what? What? what what's wrong? Is it a can? Nah, it's nothing. No, really. What am I looking at? What's on the right side of the screen? Is that a C battery? Look at that. Look. I. <laughs> Oh, it's a hubcap. I'm stupid. Thanks for joining me today, senpai. It was so clearly a hubcap on a car. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, it's fun hanging out with. And sorry for making you worry about all that stuff. We haven't really talked properly since what happened to Aragaki-san. Right. This is like, you know, for, from Ken's perspective, it was just, can you take care of hamburger? Also, yeah, uh, uh, about that. I keep thinking about... The last thing he said to me. I have to live for myself. But how exactly do I do that? I wasn't sure where to start. But I've been trying all kinds of things. Things that the old me would have never considered. Like hanging out with my friends at school, reading manga, and even watching TV. I'm also trying to make an effort to talk to people in the dorm more. Mitsuru-san helped me with my homework the other day. And I even beat Junpei-san in a video game. <laughs> Holy crud, he sucks. And he, that's all he does. Oh, I also ate snacks with Yukari-san and the others, and Aiga-san helped me feed hamburger. I realized that little things like this can really make life enjoyable. Man, that's the best thing to come out of all of this. Really. Ken's just off the path of revenge, and he's just enjoying the simple things like a kid his age should. Well... That's what I've learned so far. Holy crud, I'm tearing up. Dude. <laughs> hey, I want to feed hamburger. Come on. <laughs> of course. Let's go get ramen together again one of these days. Wait, wait we're taking hamburger to get ramen? The first, that's... It was so delicious the last time we had it. All right, this is getting confusing. Well, uh, yeah. You know, I've noticed other people in the dorm talk about you a lot. They do? Everyone seems to be really happy when they do, too. Man, you try and gas me up. I'll believe it when I see it. The hard battles continue. But we're still able to keep going. And it's because we all know when we come back, they'll always be there for us. Hmm. That'd be nice if it were true. Dang. <laughs> he doesn't believe it. I'm sure it is. It's not just that you're the leader during our battles. I feel like you're always looking after us and making sure we're okay, too. I want to be more like you, senpai. Wow. That's a... That's... <laughs> what, what, what a thing for a kid to say. When I grow up, I want to be just like you, but maybe not the haircut. I don't... It doesn't really work my face shape, you know? I want to continue learning from your example. That's okay, right? Anyways, sorry that all took so long. The night air is getting chilly. Shall we go back home? <laughs> what do you know? We're here. I'll listen to what Amada's been up to. As we went back to the dorm. Holy cow. This, this is one of those things that only can work in Persona. Well, I shouldn't say just Persona, but... Definitely using the calendar system to its best benefit. I'd say. I don't know if you could, like, see this uh, at a later point, but I imagine events like this are very tight in the timing. You know? Oh, gosh, here we go again. <laughs> I'm running out of girly voices. <laughs> F it! Hey there. Have you uh, talked to the new transfer student yet? Oh, he's handsome! Oh, totally. I have. Mochi Suki Konati is so sweet and creamy. 
as we look so rich. Oh my god. I'm going for him for real this time. What? No, that's not fair. I call dibs. Get your own. Hmm. Girls will be girls. <laughs> Sorry. You gotta admit. It is, come on. We'll mix it up a little bit. Okay, I'm not messing around anymore. We are going. Port Island Station. Get the flowers for the love of ganache. We rarely come here. It's kind of a shame. What do you want? I want. Should we just buy one of every flower just to be safe? I think so. Okay, she only... Okay, that one says literally Junpei was gazing at this one. I think that's safe to say we're good now. <laughs> I'm so worried. It's a brand new game after all. Not really, but... Some things have definitely changed. You never can be too careful. I'll never live it down. Let's see, we do have... Yeah, that is a strength persona last time I checked. What's going on? Are you free right now? Those kids had their race, and they said they want to talk to... Oh my gosh, how do you think it went? I, I'm dying to know. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, I'll call them over then. I wonder how they did. Oh no, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> She's like an actual coach. <laughs> I mean, she is a coach. Coach like. and the boyfriend. Where? Huh, me? Coach, we raced them all one on one, and two of us actually won. Hey, that's a, that's a winning record then. Wait, no, they're tied, right? That means we tied the sixth graders. Can you believe it? Holy dump! That. Do you, so, do, like, I don't. I had. How does it? How does it work? They said they're gonna let us use the schoolyard now, oh. and they want to be friends with us. No way. That's the best outcome. They think we're pretty fast for fourth graders and told us we should play together sometime. Oh, you guys! I never had a doubt. I know how hard you all worked. Wow, thanks. Um, big sis. Oh, dude, you, you messed up again, Spunky Boy. <laughs> you don't have to call me that if you don't want to. Auntie Yuko is fine. Oh, well, you, I thought you were coached. Like. <laughs> One, two, three. I wonder why they said that. Oh. <sighs> they called you my boyfriend till the very end. I cannot pick that. I cannot. I. The the actual human being in me not playing the video game right now. This is what I would do. I know. I'm just so embarrassed. Was I? Are my cheeks red? They're just being kids, but still. I effed up. That was no points. God dang it! Something about it gives me goosebumps. Whoa. <sighs> Anywho, can't talk about our feelings too much. Am I right, Yuko? You know what this feels like? Mm. The end of some cheesy high school drama series. Absolutely. I get that vibe. Mm. I guess they're based on a true story after all. Like the kids have left the nest. Oh my god, what the what the <laughs> Are you, are you relieved? I thought that's what, you know, kind of what we wanted. We can't. Well, of course. Oh, uh. I was constantly worried someone would get hurt. To be honest, it was tough at the beginning. But now that they're gone, it feels kind of lonely. I know. I just have to, like, do our other job, which is the other track team. Oh, wait, I don't go to that anymore now that I'm doing cause. So I guess your schedule's a little more open. Teaching those kids how to race. It was pretty fun. They looked so happy every time they got faster. And it made me happy too. That feeling of wanting to help them just kept growing bigger and bigger. You know, this might have been the first time I really put my heart into something. And it's not that I've been slacking off as a team manager, but maybe helping and teaching people is more of my thing. Kind of made me think about the things I should do for my future, I mean. Oh, by the way, I wanted to thank you. For what? Maybe we should throw a little party. Uh, you know, to celebrate our first attempt at coaching. Okay, okay, we can do that. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Hey! Ah, I can't wait. You really like that answer. <laughs> hmm. Now, where should we have the party at? Uh, Japanese equivalent of Chuck E. Cheese? Mmm. Nah, something about those animatronics. I kind of want to 
to be somewhat fancy. What? I'll look around for a place. I, 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 like a picnic? I mean, it's cheap, you know? It goes full of enthusiasm. And she discovered her passion for training others. Looks like a relationship has grown. Cool. But did it grow enough? I don't know yet. I'm not going to worry about it. I didn't have much confidence at the beginning. So you being here with me was really... Well, let's talk about that next time. We'll have plenty of time at the party. Oh my god. This is how, how y'all feel. See you next time. Shall we head home? God dang it, Yuko. Just say what's on your mind. Ah, can't rush these things. She has to process and assess. And also oh, well, buy some streamers for the party. Hey. Hey. Uh. What's good? How's the cocoa? So, um... I lost a parent. Oh, Jesus. So I know how Mitsuru-san feels. I don't really know how I got back on my feet, but... I still remember how I shut myself away from the rest of the world. Well, let's hope she doesn't do the same. I mean, we're here for her. Whole gaggle of us, you know? Um... Ryoji can transfer here at such a weird time of the year. The name is because of his parents? What do they do, anyway? It seems like no one really knows anything about him. Hmm. It's pretty mysterious. And that scarf, how does it always stay on his neck? I wonder what your is doing right now. I could come up with some kind of excuse to go to the hospital. Well, Junpei, I happen to have this white flower. You know, just picked it up for you. But, uh, hey, isn't this... Uh, come on, let's have a little chat. Why do you have these flowers? Uh, I purchased them with currency. Nah, let's just be adamant. Like, okay, just try to give them to her. Maybe write a card. But at the same time, I don't know. There's just a deeper thing going on here. But this is a start that you still, like, care about her. At the same time, though, I know I'm overthinking, but it's not always about what we want. Right? Do we respect her wishes, or just give her the flowers anyway? It's tricky. Oh, uh, uh, something I said. What the heck, dude? What's your deal? What did I do? What did I, what did I do? Or is this like a crush thing? Because this is too much love to hand. What? They're for Chidori, you name Kapoop! Well, I don't hate you. <laughs> You're acting like a bit. What? No, no, what? what uh, I was so wrapped up in my own hypothetical. Well, Junpei, I don't hate you. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Wait, not like that. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why you always have my back. Okay, we're on the same page again. Damn it. You really backed me into a corner here. You can't just not go now after all this. Right. Yeah, 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 I guess so. You can blame it on me. You can blame it on me. Yeah. But, well, thanks. I guess I should take a page out of your book and finesse my way in. Uh, I do what? I do not do that. Excuse me. Except these flowers don't really make me look cool at all. Maybe I should come bursting in with the whole bouquet. No, don't do that. Don't. He's gonna do that. Son of a gun. Well, I guess he'll be okay now. Oh, he has more dialogue. No. I'm gonna talk to Chidori. Man, I can't blow this chance. There's no way I can back out now. I, 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 just, <laughs> I feel like I did something bad, but I'm sure I'll be fine. So I did get that URL from the URL dude, as one does. And taking down enemies, security site. I can pretty much figure out like what all the other ones do, but this is interesting. Effective security measure online. That seems to be a website that helps with training security team members. Okay. There's a list of self-defense videos here, each with a detailed text explanation. Guess I'll start watching the most watched video. Uh, why would they keep this a secret if they want to educate? I watched a bunch of how-to videos on subduing violent individuals. Oh god, do not try this at home! I watched the video. Of course I can operate perfectly. Ah, well, well, oh, crap. I learned the importance of having the will to stand up to an enemy. Maybe we use that in a Tartarus. And we learned Ambush. Okay, it's got a new name. You can now ambush enemies while exploring ambushing. You'll trigger chance encounters regardless of 
that what? I actually don't get what this is. Trigger an encounter from behind will slightly increase Makoto's theurgy gauge. Whoa! Okay, so I guess it's just a reward for yeah, careful play. It's gone late. Should I head back? That's cool. I thought it would just be like an insta kill, but no. It seems like it's something totally different. Check that out when we can. It's November already. The third year students must be cramming frantically by this point. Don't worry though, you'll share their fate next year. I can just see you now tearing your hair out. Anyway, it's a bit cold out today. There's no need for the heater. Let me tell you why. Winter is supposed to be cold. You have to learn to appreciate the temperature rather than curse it. That's the Japanese way. You understand, don't you? Don't you? Maybe like, you know, freaking how long, like a hundred years ago before it was invented. As, say, Shonagon once wrote in her famous pillow book, Winter Early Mornings. Yes, that's right. It's a pillow book. I guess something you read when you better go sleep. Yuki! What was she describing with such sparse fly? Um, the setting of the plot? Instruction? No, just, yeah, she likes winter, I guess. Hmm, so you have some basic sense. Good. The author was describing her favorite time in winter. She's now famous for having written about her likes, dislikes, and other observations. She admires what snow represents, the beauty of the winter frost. Rather than curse the winter chill, she appreciates its positive qualities. Oh, how wonderful Japanese culture is. Despite its modern youth, anyway. The frit, we're trying our best here. And if you think my hair is frosty, remember you'll eventually be just like me. Not me, bro. I'm getting that boon. Kichi Buzz. Nope, I got the old characters messed up again. It's Mutatsu. I just like saying Boon Kichi. It's such a fun name. Shame I don't go to visit him anymore. Like a. Uh oh. Uh oh. That puts a dent in my plans. I mean, come on, we gotta see this, right? Oh, we gotta talk to Jupe first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes I start heading to the hospital without even realizing it. Hey, it was one of those days. So you came back? What? Chidori. Why'd she... It's tough for her. Thinking about you, though. Hey Makoto. Are you free? I'm going out with a few ladies later. I guess some of their friends want to talk to with me first. Maybe we can all go together. Wouldn't that be more fun? I think they'll be waiting for me on the roof. Want to come along? I guess... Doesn't really sound like a ton of fun. Ryoji's invited me to join him. This might be a good opportunity to get to know him better. All right, I'm down. Thanks. Then let's go. Uh, what? How many dudes you bring? What's going on here? Um, it's nice to meet you. I didn't know I had so many admirers. <laughs> so you said you needed to talk to me? Yeah, keep your hands off our girlfriend. Oh no, Ryoji, you're a home wrecker. All I've been hearing her talk about is Ryoji Kun. Yeah, you need to stop talking to every girl you see. Oh, <laughs> that that's not allowed here. Oh, it's a little different than France. Um, sorry. I actually have no idea which girls you're talking about. There's been too many that have come up to I, me. You got it. You got it. You're saying too much, bro. Is this a joke to you? I'm sorry if I offended you, but I haven't made any moves on anyone. I just invited them out for a bite to eat. That's exactly what we call making a move. That's a problem. Then. I've made a promise to go out with them. I can't just cancel due to my inconvenience. Oh my god. Are you kidding me, Ryoji? C quit messing with us! Yeah, I, I, I don't know whose side. I'm, I'm definitely not on Ryoji's side. <laughs> Even if his intentions are pure. You gotta at least have a planner or something. Alright, we're meeting Hinata at Rob well, Duckburger at 1. Like, you know. Ryoji could be in danger if this continues. Should I intervene? Give me your phone. I'm gonna delete all the contact info you have. I think you should just do that anyways, Ryoji. Uh, he doesn't know any better. He baby. Okay? He's French. Who the hell are you? This is 
none of your business. I just, I, yeah, I kind of, he's kind of right. You taking his side? I mean, yeah, I don't know you guys. But just don't beat him up. Like, freaking. Hey, it's that guy from 2F. What? I heard he's friends with Sonata Senpai and the student council president. They live in the same dorm. Oh, what? What? So I got a rep? What do we do? If he tells them, then. <laughs> Look, just stay the hell away from our girlfriends and delete them from your contacts. Got it? I think we can manage that, fellas. You have a good night. Uh, You're gonna do that, right, Ryoji? All right. I'll do it. Good. Better watch out, or he'll steal your girlfriend, too. That is highly unlikely. Cause I've got a girlfriend. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to make trouble for you. You know, I laugh, but it's kind of sad. Uh, what are we talking about? Huh? <laughs> it's tough being the popular guy. It is 100% his fault. I mean... No, it is. He did make trouble for me. Come on, act like you got some sense. Guess so, huh? I really didn't expect them to be so angry. <laughs> what the frick? Right, from now on, I will ask if they have a boyfriend first before inviting them out. That's why I like to see Ryoji. You're taking accountability for your actions. Wait, what, what's the sweat drop? Hey, thanks for having my back. Yeah, I got you. And I'm not, you know, I'm not like a butt kisser, bro. I'm gonna tell you how it is, because this isn't a social link. You're very kind. <sighs> I'll butter me up now. Nice try. <laughs> what a great view. The ocean looks so beautiful. I do like seeing it from the monorail to school each morning, but it looks so different from up here. I wonder why those guys were so mad. Oh my god, how dense are you? If you're in a relationship with someone, that means you like each other, right? I don't think me getting in the picture would change that, would it? Um, you know, it's, it's best just not test these things, Ryoji. I wonder what it means to like someone. Do you have someone like that? Hmm. Well, maybe. It's a secret. <laughs> is that how it is? Yeah. Well, maybe you can tell me once we get to know each other better. I guess there's still a lot that I don't understand. Look at the world out there. The people in this city, our classmates in school, and you. I want to know more about all of it. All right, uh, since I dragged you into this mess today, let me make it up to you. I'll treat you to ramen. I just had some with Junpei-kun the other day. And while we're at it, maybe you can show me around town. I'd like to know what kind of places you like going to. Well, apparently that ramen shop is the only place I've been. <laughs> Everyone, just, everyone loves it. It's just what they eat. Let's spend some time with Yoji and then return to the door. What is the English equivalent of ramen? I don't have enough. I guess hamburgers. You can't really eat hamburgers all the time. I guess some people do. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe like taco bowls and mows. Not really. I guess we just have a lot of variety here. What's up, dude? Yo. Any updates? Did you go? Did you go today? Come on. Ah, I'm gonna keep bugging you till you go. What the heck? That was mysterious. Ryoji? Psst. That's just his M.O. He's trying to charm the ladies by acting all secretive. In reality, he's just a normal, good-looking guy. Kinda like me. Hmm. <laughs> just your average Joe. You know, nothing big. Your head's actually a mop, huh? Just soaks up everything I tell you. Get it? Cause you got that long hair. Whatever. Get out of here. Sorry. <laughs> Going to school, not gonna ruin my mood Morning. except those that. Yo, have you talked to Mochizuchi Kun at all? Maybe, maybe literally a lot. You know, here and there. Huh. Yeah. Think maybe you get along with him. Seems really um. Affectionate. Is that normal overseas? I want to know. Ah, hey oh, Jesus! Well, hello, Takabasa. Well, good morning to you too, Makoto-kun. Hi. Good morning, Mochizuki-kun. 
call me Ryoji, please. You see, since I transferred here at such an awkward time, so I might get to know everyone better. Yeah. Yeah, that's your... Uh, I see. It's like having to transfer school so often. Yeah. Can't deny that. Should be used to it by now. It's always hard to leave new, hard to leave new friends. It gets a little lonely, you know? So how about we keep me company for a little while? Want to grab a bite sometime? Oh, dumb. Annihilated! Hey, wait up. Not interested. She was trying to empathize. But we know we're Yoji. It's different. He's being genuine. I mean, we can't talk during class. We gotta talk, you know, someplace else. School trip's coming up, huh? Aren't you excited? I sure am. It's gonna be a blast. Make sure we'll have a great time while we're there. You will? <laughs> what is he gonna do about it? <laughs> I'll show you all the coolest spots that I don't actually know. Dude, that new transfer student's a total chick magnet. Yes, he does kind of stand out. Ah, I really hate guys who have good looks. It's not like the other guy back there. I must suck having good looks. I must suck I'm from another country. <laughs> they were always the center of attention. Mochizuki-kun seems to be enjoying it. Being the center of attention, eh? You know, you should probably strive for that in the business that I do, but frankly, I'm not that good at it. Should I work on that? I don't know. Makoto Dono, are you busy? To master the way of the kimono, I have need of your strength. Really? I, I mean, I don't have that matching person. Oh, yeah, I do. Sick Freed coming up. Katana Jinkai. I am eternally grateful. Then today, I shall sow as I have never sown before. Sewing is my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell, tell, tell me something I don't know. My wallet may be light, and what? my materials may be cheap. Oh, he, is, he, is he doing a mantra now? What's going on? But I will work out to make a beautiful kimono and save my future. Guess we're helping out. I guess. Looks like it. Hmm. Oui. This is starting to come together. Manzuku. When my uncle sees this, I know he'll agree with me about how great Nihon is. Yeah, for sure, bro. <laughs> I gotta, I, I, I gotta work. I believe you. It's got it. Which means I must work even harder. I, I, uh... I made so much progress today, and I could not have done it without your help. Merci, arigato. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like we just show up and do nothing and get endless praise. Also, Ryoji can't be the French transfer student, cause that's Bebe. So where the dump do you come from? Portugal? Ugh. My arms are so very tired. I must have overworked them. Sewing? I guess I gotta keep it steady. But no matter what's the cost, I will finish this kimono. For my future, for Nihon, I cannot give up now. Oh, you got a Nihon. People, to, put other people in the story call it Japan. I guess it's just one of those quirks of having a foreign student. It's like, no, we call it Japan here. Oh, welcome. Must be tough to translate this. It's just me, or does Junpei-san seem unhappy about something? Wait, what? What happened? It's mumbling under his breath for the longest time. Think about Shidori-san. Well, it's probably best to let him be until he knows what's on his mind, right? I can call her Chidori-san. I guess Ken's impressed. What's about been a while? I'm worried about Karijo Senpai. She's usually so calm and level headed. Can't bear to see her this way. Well the school trip will cheer her up. Yeah. Sometimes when you can, it's good to get out, you know, just to see different walls. Also, I, I pretty much figured it out now. Mutatsu is available the last half of the week. So Thursday onwards. So we can realistically finish this one pretty soon. If we start picking the right options. But we're running out of like nighttime events pretty darn fast. So I don't think I can do it. Uh, wait, what? Seems uh something happened. happen. Oh, this is when it gets, I don't want to say juicy, but here comes the sauce. Uh, leave me alone. Can you help me out, kid? I don't 
feel so good. Wait, what's going on? I'm calling the ambulance. They're free here, unlike America. Ooh. Helmet. I can't believe I let this happen. How pathetic. Did you poop your pants? That sounds like he pooped his pants. Hmm. Are you okay? He would he would just get mad at them asking dumb questions again. Come on, man, get out of here. You're done. Yeah. You're right, kid. I should go home and sleep. Even, even if I go home. I completely forgot I have a memorial service to conduct. Signing the heart sutra with a hangover is gonna be rough. Back in the day, all I needed was a cold shower and I'd be fine no matter how much I drank. Uh, I guess I'm getting old, huh? It's always in times like these uh, when it's hardest to be alone. Jeez. So you do live by yourself. You act like you don't care about others, kid. What? You sure can be nosy when you want to. I'm the complete opposite. I can't help but put my face in people's business. That sounds effed up, sorry. I got all these gaudy rings on now, but I used to wear a wedding ring, you know? Yeah, like a ring on every finger is a little tacky. If you think about it, it's better to be alone. Less stress. Mm -hmm hate to be that guy, but I'm going to push my glasses up and say, well, scientifically, loneliness uh, <laughs> causes more stress than you think. You don't have to wait for someone else to get out of the bathroom when you need to go. The sun took forever in there. Yeah, living alone is the way to achieve peace and serenity. Everything we see has form. No form has permanence. All in constant motion. Holy dump, are you going home or what? Form has no self. His true face is that of emptiness. And yet, form is emptiness. And emptiness is form. No two things in this world are the same. Well, to put it simply, no matter how hard you try to live your life right, Else can always mess it up. Oh gosh, this pessimism. I don't know if I can handle it. Because form is emptiness. And emptiness is form. Maybe getting involved with you messed up my life a bit too. <laughs> you don't seem too upset about it. I don't really follow the form and formlessness thing, and I'm not scared to admit it. But I think. Mutatsu is at a point in his life where he's unhappy with his outcome and he has to convince others that no, this is the way. Even if he's not like sold on it himself. I'm gonna go home, kid. My head's killing me. Oh yeah, about the memorial service. It was a seventh day memorial. Oh, no way. It was only oh. 19. Right. Random murder victim. What a harsh world we live in. Yeah, no kidding. Be careful on your way home too, kid. Can happen to anybody. I think maybe it was... Straga? Nah. Even without them, I mean, there's so many people that die every day. Come to think of it, how do they get them out of the coffins? You ever think about that? What's up, Makoto? You look kind of bummed. Yeah. Very introspective last night. Good morning. Mm, this is an unusual sight. An unholy alliance, us three. <laughs> we ran into each other earlier and started yapping. I actually want to know more about Gekko Khan High. Naturally, I had to share my wisdom with him. Just like he did with me. All right. Anyway, he's a cool dude to hang with. I'd agree with that. Thanks for helping me out, Junpei. Thanks especially for telling me who's in the top 10 cuties of Gekko God. <laughs> oh no. Pop, pop, pop down! I did it. He's choking Makoto. You could tell her about this. My rep's gonna go in the toilet. But she's like, she's like number one, right? Like, let's be real. I, I want to know too. 
Look who's showing some interest in the opposite. Oh, all of a sudden, look at him. Well then, I like, I, I'd like your opinion too. It's a very serious matter. <laughs> you two are pretty close, huh? But we can be good friends too, since we're both transfer students and all. Just doesn't say anything back. Not would it even nah? I don't know. Ah, oh, god dang it, every time! Let's begin today's lecture, shall we? Om Adri Vaka I'll be teaching today because, well, maybe it's best you don't know. Oh my god, what happened? Anyway, I'll be filling in last minute, so I didn't have much time to come up with a lesson. The first thing that came to mind was Electron Practical Magic. We need to pass entrance exams. We are going to effing fail. Irogawa, gotta and doing nothing. How about we discuss some breathing techniques? I know some people would say breathing's anything but magic, but the two are actually closely linked. It's because breathing affects more than your body, influences your mind as well. The ancient Greek word for breath is pneuma. It was a very important concept in the medical science of the day. Later, Gnostic Christians used pneuma to refer to the human spirit, a concept separate from the soul. That was around the time when breathing techniques were recognized as being crucial to successful magic. I could name all sorts of examples where this influence is felt today. Like yoga, breathing is an especially important factor there. And in boxing, they exhale when they throw a punch to do more damage. I'm not making that up. That sounds like a video game term. It's real. At least that's the intention. There's also the Shinto concept of Ibuki, meaning both breath and inner strength. That is often incorporated in martial art training. So you can see how breathing techniques have spread throughout the world thanks to the power of magic. I mean, it's probably gonna happen either way. Well, back to practical matters. Let me show you something called Dantian breathing. Some say Guantanamo, wait, Guatama, Guatama, oh. Buddha himself practiced this method while on earth. It's a breathing exercise we focus on special Dantian, or energy center in your body. So the first step is simply focusing on the right dantian, as each person has multiple. For this example, focus on the lower one. It's about three finger widths below the navel. Why does such a seemingly random spot in the body receive such high regard to the point of being specially named? It's because the dantian is where the most energy can be charged with the body. Once you start the exercise, you might notice that all the energy you have can be felt and elsewhere in the body. It's because the dantian absorbs your spiritual energy, further strengthening the body and the mind. Man, this, like, esoteric, like, Buddhism's freaking... I don't know if I'll ever wrap my head around it. Let's try doing some daunting breathing now. First time, it's usually a good idea to place your hand in the proper spot. This helps in maintaining focus. I like no one's doing this. Everyone's just got their hands on their pen. It's like, eh, I'm good, I'm good. I'm gonna watch. Once you pinpoint your daunting, you can begin the breathing process. Imagine the air you pull in with your diaphragm. And, uh, okay, I'm not freaking, I don't care anymore. <laughs> Oh, except one important note, I almost forgot. If you're doing it correctly, there shouldn't be any pain. After all, when you boil it down, you're simply breathing in and out. It means if it hurts, it should probably stop. And some, some things inhibiting your mind, too. Oh, cool. Information I will, I will forget literally in two minutes. See how breathing methods can affect your meditation? Oh, remember, it's very important to believe you're doing more than just breathing. As a matter of fact, you can improve your physical fitness with the right breathing technique. Yo, okay, now, now you're talking something. Now you're talking something smart. And that leads, in turn, to the improvement of your psyche and astral form. All right, that's it for today. What about my astral form? The heck is that going to look like? Do I still have blue hair? Or is it like, you know, all shiny? Like Goku? Oh, whatever. I don't even think this guy knows. There you are. Finally found you. Hey, Takeba. You hardly ever miss student council meetings. I've been looking all over for you. Did someone ask you to come find me? Well, yeah. I'm not a member or anything, but still. Ah, oh, well. Sorry about that. You've been pretty busy, huh? What with the class trip and all. It's for both second and third years, so I imagine you have your hands full, too. The class trip. Even if I did go, I'd only spoil the fun. Nonsense. Come on. Wait, you're not thinking of skipping the trip, are you? <sighs> you can't do that. That's not an option. Hmm? You know, I've been meaning to talk to you. About what? 
Well, honestly, you're not the easiest person to relate to. <laughs> I mean, she's, she's, she's honest. But I lost my dad, too. And I know what that's like. Talk about. So I've decided I don't want our friendship to be over. I'm going to be more upfront with you from now on. <sighs> there she the is. Effin troll. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I've been looking everywhere for you. Huh? Ryoji kun? No, bring back the music. What, what was going on? Why are you up here? Why well, you always ruin everything? Huh? Weren't you looking for Miss President too? I was doing the same thing. Some guy asked me to find her. Oh. Oh, okay. That's that. That's fine. He said if I didn't, the class trip might get canceled. <gasps> Ugh, oh, to Gary Coon. He'll hit up anyone in arm's reach for a favor. In any case, looks like I found you, Mitsuru Kirijo-san. And I have to say, you're quite stunning. Maybe we could go out sometime? My god, dude. In time and place. I know this place on the top floor of a five-star hotel. You do not. You just moved here. The restaurant up there has a view of the city nightscape that's almost as breathtaking as you. Nightscape? Senpai, you better head back to the meeting. Oh, right. Takeba, thank you for coming to find me. For now, I'd better see to my duties. Hey. She left without giving me an answer. That means it wasn't a no. Great. <laughs> For now, huh? I don't like the sound of that. Wait, what? Well, how about you, Yukari-san? Care to join me for dinner? Oh my god. I know this place on Shirakawa Boulevard. He didn't make a sound. He didn't go, ouch, or yowie. He went, he went dead si He's dead. Oh, okay. It was a little, it was a delayed reaction. My bad. <laughs> Doctor goes up to Ryoji, whacks him on the knee. No, no reaction. Rip. Kicks like three freaking hours later. God dang. Young man, you need to behave. Kirijo san wasn't very receptive when I asked her out. What did I do wrong? Maybe I should have suggested a different restaurant. Seems like a tough nut to crack. Ugh. A friend of mine was saying like that, like this archetype of dude was a thing in Japanese high schools. Like it was just like, I don't want to say it's an archetype because, but you know, like it's behavior that is mimicked because of certain cultures. So when they replay the game, it's like, oh, like they give them the creeps. I'm like, dang, I didn't even know that. But yo, same. I'm on Agus's side. In fact, this school conducts its field trips every other year is unusual, is it not? So there was no strip last year, which means the current third years haven't gone on their school trip yet. First year students don't go on a trip. So this year, the second and third years are going together. I never thought about it like that. Weird. Maybe this should just like amass funds? Could be, could be. So let's cross our, no! <laughs> I thought I'd have enough points for you, Kari. I'm not giving up, though. There's still the chance we can go on a walk with Koumaru or cook some yummy food. There is the chance that can work on Yukari and Fuka. I'm not giving up. But yeah, let's max this out tonight. Yuki-san, are you going home? Do you know that the student council has a street fundraiser every year? I'm actually going to start prepping for it by making some flyers. If you're free, do you think you could help me out? I would love to. Let's go. Thank you so much. There's no meeting today, so let's go ahead and use the student council room. Thank you for taking the time to help me. Did you know that if you want a space to do street fundraising, you have to send the application two months in advance? What a, what a fun fact. I... I wonder if this is going to be enough flyers. Mm -hmm. Were you forced into this? It sounds like it was her idea. I'm curious. No, I asked to take this job. Plus, the student council president will be busy with college entrance exams this year. I was 
was looking for some way to help out, and that's how I ended up in charge of this. Ever since that business with Mr. Talking Nozuka got resolved, I felt more confident. Or maybe proactive is the better word. Hey, that's what I like to hear. I can even talk to the boys in my class now, too. <laughs> well, a little. Yeah, I imagine it's still kind of scary. Anyways... Running this fundraiser is just the beginning. From now on, I'm not going to be afraid of trying new things. Oh, but, um, I'd appreciate it if you could still help me every now and then, just like today. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Why not? Yes, thank you. Oh, that reminds me. Do you remember that illustration collection I found at the bookstore? Yeah. Huh? Apparently, someone ended up buying it. I checked the other day, and he wasn't there anymore. Dang. Bummer. But for some reason, I'm not sad about it. Yeah, because you got, you got, you know, you got other stuff to occupy your time right now. You're trying new things. As long as whoever bought it is happy, then I'm happy too. Um, I'd like you to have this. It kind of came out of nowhere. It's a collection of manga short stories by the same artist. Wait. How'd you get this? I bought it a long time ago, oh. and I read it so many times that I've practically memorized it. I'd like this book to be read by all sorts of people, too. Just like that illustration collection. I'm sure that's much better than me just keeping it for myself. Could I ask that you be the first of those many readers? Wow, that's, so, that's such a nice gift. I never really processed that before. I'll take it happily. Good, because we'll start holding it. <laughs> oh, it's JoJo manga? Okay. When you finish reading it, please pass it on to someone else. Maybe it would be a good idea to hand it off at the bookstore. It's not in print anymore, so you'll never see it in new releases. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so lucky to have met you. That book couldn't be in better hands. What a genuinely sweet conclusion. I love this social link. I'm, I'm proud to say. I, am I like the social link a lot more this time around. The bomb thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the justice arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the justice within thyself. Something, something. Balance. Like that of a scale. More or less, Chidori got her groove back, and she cleared her name. You love to see it. Also, we got cheese. Melchizedek, that is. Ah, there she is. Fushimi-san! Um, are we interrupting? No, not at all. Did you need something? Well, the student council led a street fundraiser a while back, and they asked for regular students to participate, right? We were curious about maybe learning more. Do you have any information on that? Of course. I can help with that. Oh, thank you again for helping me today, senpai. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you, I'll let you get to biz. I'm sorry I ended up taking so much of your time. <laughs> How can you say sorry? I got a gift out of it. I'll handle the rest by myself. Hmm. Are you sure? I want. I kind of want to stay. I can do this on my own. It's just a little bit of talking. Oh, okay. She's got it. Um, if the timing is convenient, though, let's walk home together again sometime. I think we could do that. But you know, we don't live near each other. You know, that's the. Whole, that's how we got in this mess. Okay. Go ahead and fill out your name and class on this form. Now, as far as what you should expect on the day of. She's got it from here. I don't know. I, <laughs> I'm just happy for. Her. That's all I. That's all I get out of that one. It ended in yet again a realistic note. Maybe not realistic. Oh, it's you. No, that could that could actually happen. Mister, you you didn't give the money, and the whole school thinks I'm a thief. Pretty sure that happened in my school. Money was getting lost all the time. People were getting blamed for it. It was effed up. I will join you at Tartarus tonight. Oh. I apologize for worrying everyone. Our only priority now is to do something about Tartarus. I'll be counting on you all again. Well, the school trip is next week. So that should be fun. 
Unfortunately, Amada and Koamaru will have to stay here. Bummer. Especially Koamaru. I mean, you know, I like Ken and all now, too, but for... Uh, I'm so happy you're back. Are you looking forward to the trip? <laughs> sure enough. I see. I hope it will be a memorable one. I don't have any doubts on that. Anyways, everybody, thank you so much for checking out today's video. A little bit of social in progress. A lot of Ryoji progress. How do... How y'all feeling about that one? Uh, I uh, should not be asking out every. It just doesn't make the girls feel special. I feel like in any relationship or you know date or whatever. No, just a date. Like, hey, I should you know should be some not exclusively right, but just like, hey, you know, you're asking out the whole school. I don't feel so special. Don't play with young girls' hearts, Ryoji. There's a song or something about that. Anywho, enough lectures. Next time, school trip. See you then. Bye.